Hey. So recently you may have seen a semi-viral video going around from Brandon B. Shout out to his channel by the way, his videos are actually really good. The video is titled The Deepest Keyboard Talks Possible and it shows a build by Brandon consisting of a Tofu 65 with a polycarbonate plate and boba switches on a desk mat which he calls the t-shirt. It sounds really good, right? It's like super talky. So I had this idea. What if I could beat Brandon at his own game of talks? What if I could take his keyboard, make it a little better, and re-upload that video onto YouTube so I too can also get the 1 million views because he got 1 million views and that's that's some crazy shit. So to start this off, I first need to recreate the build. Well, Brandon being the fool he is, he left his secret recipe in the description, also known as the build. So I went to get out the same parts, you know, and we're gonna start the build. So we first start off with the case. It's a pretty cool case, it's a Tofu 60. Whoa, 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 shit, uh, I forgot about today's sponsor. Uh, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Okay, originally this ad was supposed to be a funny ad where I go into the public and then I ask them, do you want to build a website? And they'll be like, well, what's a website? And then I'll transition straight into this. But thanks to the new COVID restrictions, I can't go out anymore, so. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for anyone who's looking to create a website. They have a ton of world-class assets and templates which makes life so easy when designing a website. And personally, my favorite feature of Squarespace is that every website, template, and design is actually compatible with mobile. Considering most people are mobile these days, it's very important to have mobile compatibility. Plus, if you're not confident in making your own website yet, you can actually head over to squarespace.com and you can actually create your own website for free. It's free of charge. And once you're ready to launch that website, you can actually head over to squarespace.com slash squashyboy or use the code squashyboy for 10% off your first website or domain. And with that said, let's get back to the Video. So the first part is to recreate his talkiest keyboard. If I can't even do that, then I don't think I can make it talkier. The case he used was a Tofu 65, and I have a Tofu 60 with me, which is roughly the same. It just has a small cutout in the center. Brenda uses a KBD Fans PCB, which is soldered, but I'm going to be using a DZ60, which is hot swap. Now the plate he used and I'm using is a polycarbonate KBD Fans plate, and it fits the keyboard as it would. Polycarbonate plates actually produce a very thick top. I got some Dural V2 steps and I'm going to be lubing them with this new trick that I found out. It didn't work. The switches were Gazoo Boba U4T switches and they were looped with Crytox 205 Grade 0 and filmed with desk key films. And they were looped and filmed at... Yo, we are actually live on Twitch right now. We are actually literally streaming this so yeah join us at twitch.tv slash boy and you can join me for my speedruns say hi chat so with the switches installed it's time for the keycaps i went with some gmk hennessy keycaps this may change the sound a little since he was using pbt material keycaps and to be honest i much prefer the sound of pbt compared to abs it just has a slightly talkier sound and with all that done here's my recreation of brandon's keyboard Oh wait, I almost forgot the t-shirt. Okay, it doesn't sound as deep as Brandon's keyboard, but here comes part 2. So in this part, I'm going to try three things to make this keyboard sound talky. And the last part is going to be something special which I don't think anyone has tried before because no one's stupid enough to do it. So I was wondering what if you replace the foam in the case with a t-shirt. It may sound dumb, but you know, the t-shirt made it sound better on the table. So what if I put the t-shirt into the keyboard? Also, this mod made it so that this keyboard is actually now gasket mounted. It's pretty cool.
Okay, the t-shirt mod didn't really do much because it kind of reversed the effect of Toki. So this next mod was actually something I saw off keyboard. Shout out to his channel, by the way. He actually does really good stuff as well. He decided to use noise dampeners for cars as the foam material. It's actually pretty cool because it's a noise dampener and it's also some sort of a memory foam material. I actually got mine for really cheap at $2 a piece, but it was a bit too thick, so it couldn't fit the case. I had to roll it out with a rolling uh, thing. I also cut it up into smaller pieces. So with the keyboard back in, here's the sound test for the foam mod. Okay, we're definitely on the right track. This thing is getting talky. So let's try out method three. Yes, we'll be modding the keyboard with concrete. Now do bear in mind that this is the first time I've ever used chopsticks, so it may look a little weird. So this is what happened to the keyboard after two days. So I started by removing the tape that holds in the screw points. I saw use some sandpaper to even out the surface. And brushed off the rest of the dust. And with the keyboard screwed back in, here is what a concrete keyboard sounds like. Go back, can we go back? So in the end, Brendan still won for the most talkiest keyboard. But I would say the car insulation mod and the concrete mod actually took me by surprise. One actually being really good and the other one being concrete. So yeah, I hope this video taught you something about keyboards. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. Comment down below your crazy keyboard mods and I'll be sure to try them out in another video. And I'll see y'all in another video.